Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we are going to understand how to run fixed effects or least square dummy variable regression model considering the time period effects. So the estimation of panel data regression models highly depends on the assumptions we make about the intercept, the slope coefficients and the error terms. In general, simple linear panel data models can be estimated using three different methods. One, with a common constant. Second, allowing for fixed effects. Third, allowing for random effects. Now, there are five possible measures, uh, five possible models which can be made in panel data regression. The first one is assume that the intercept and the slope coefficients are constant across time and space and the error term captures differences over time and individual cross-section units. That's a pooled OLS. I'll request all of you that kindly refer my previous videos in which I will discuss about how to run pooled OLS in eViews. This means that we will be having a single regression equation for the entire panel data. Here, we assume that the data is homogeneous and there is no heterogeneity involved in our data set. The slope coefficients are constant, but the intercept varies over individuals. You can see here, we are th having three different intercepts, but the slopes are constant. This model I have discussed in my previous video. Kindly refer my playlist in which you will be able to see the fixed effects models in the cross section unit. Now we talk about the slope coefficients are constant, but the intercept varies over the individual and time. This type of the model. The fourth one is all coefficients, the intercept as well as slope coefficients vary over individuals. And the last one is all coefficients, the intercept as well as slope coefficients vary over individuals and time. All are fixed effects models. The same thing I have tried to explain in a, dif in a different way. We are trying to pass a single regression equation for the entire data series and that is known as a pooled OLS. All intercepts same, all slopes are same. In fixed effects, all intercepts are different based on time or cross-section invari invariant. In my previous video, I discussed about how to include the cross-section effect in the fixed effect model. In this video, I'm going to discuss, discuss about how to include the time effect in fixed effect models. The third can be the mean intercept uh, is same, but the slopes are different in this case. And in the last case, means are also different and the slopes are also different. Now, let us take a very simple example that I want to study that what is the effect of study time on the test grade and I completely ignore the student intelligence and I also completely ignore the test. So when I'm running such type of regression, it is known as pooled OLS, pooled ordinary least square method. You can see here y is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 plus epsilon error. Term. So I'll, my assumption is that the test grade is completely dependent on the study time. I'm not considering the student's intelligence as well as I'm not considering which test I'm talking about. Now, I want to introduce the effect of the intelligence of the student here. So, I will include, uh, I will introduce the concept of dummies. I'll have to create the dummy variable here. So, you can see here, Joe. So, now I'll make Joe as one of the variable, Sue as one of the variable. These are the students. So, the presence of Joe will be indicated by 111 and its absence will be indicated by zero in the respective column. Now, if I talk about SU, wherever SU is present, it will be indicated by 111 and its absence is indicated by zero. Now, this is basically we are trying to run the cross-section effect in our regression analysis. This particular analysis I have already uploaded in fixed effects model by using cross-section effect in my previous video. This time, I want to include the time effect models. So you can see here y is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 plus fi plus epsilon. So the test grade is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 study time plus beta 2 jo plus beta 3 mark plus beta 4 su. So I have included the cross section effect. It can be the companies or it can be the firms whose effect is to be considered. Now I want to include the effect of test. Make sure that whenever you make dummies, if you are having four cross-section units, you will make one less dummy. The reason for this is that if you make dummies of all the cross-section unit and if you include in the model, then you will fall into the dummy variable trap. So here there are three tests. Can you guess how many dummies will be there? Right. You will have to keep two dummies. So one, two, three. So 
test 2 and test 3. So wherever test 2 is present, it will be indicated by 1 and its absence is indicated by 0. Similarly, in test 3, its presence is indicated by 1 and its absence is indicated by 0. Now the question will arise is that how we will capture the effect of the dummy, uh, how we will uh, capture the effect of the cross section unit or the time period whose dummy is not created. No need to worry. The intercept will capture it. For example, in our previous example, Antonio, its dummy was not created and therefore its effect will be captured by the intercept or constant. Here, test 1, its dummy is not created and therefore its, its effect will be captured by the intercept or constant. So now my time effect model will be y is, y is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 plus fi plus tj plus epsilon. So this is the effect of cross section and this is the effect of time element. So now my test grid is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 into study time plus beta 2 jo plus beta 3 mark plus beta 4 su plus beta 5 test 2 plus beta 6 test 3. So this is having the effect of time element. This is having the effect of cross section unit. Just as we use the dummy variables to account for individual effect, we can allow for time effect in the sense that the Grunfield investment function shifts over time because of the factors such as technological, technological changes, changes in government regularity and or tax policies and external effects such as wars or other conflicts. Such time effects can be easily accounted for if we introduce the time dummies one for each year. We are having 20 years in our data set from 1935 to 1954. Can anybody guess how many dummies we have to create? Correct. We will have to create 19 dummies. One less. So now I will say yit is equal to lambda 0 plus lambda 1 dummy 35 plus lambda 2 dummy 36 plus dummy 53 and beta 2 x2 it plus beta 3 x3 it plus mu it the error term. Where Dummy 35 takes a value of 1 for observation in year 1935 and 0 otherwise. We are treating the year 1954 as a base year whose intercept value is given by lambda 0. Now why this particular thing is necessary? Let's try to understand. In pooled OLS, we had assumed that one size fits all. But this is not the scenario. One size does not fit all. We will have to introduce the cross-section effect as well as the time effect. So heterogeneity refers to the firm specific characteristics and the period characteristics. By pulling all of them together, firm specific and time period specific characteristics are sub-assumed in the error term VIT. The problem is now known as the endogeneity in which the error term gets correlated with one of the regressors, that is, when I compute the covariance between the error term and the independent variable, it will be, it will be it will be correlated. This causes estimated regression coefficients to be biased and inconsistent. As a remedy, we can take into the consideration firm and time characteristics in the model to reduce the unobserved heterogeneity. How panel regression works? Y is equal to beta 0 plus beta x plus epsilon that is a normal regression which does not account for time and cross-section effects. Now, yit is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 xit plus epsilon i i t which is which is the error term so time and cross section regressions included but what about the unobserved heterogeneity arising from these terms so we introduce two new error terms so this error term is split into two parts error term from time effect plus error term from cross section effect and whatever is left out is e i t so now y i t is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x i t plus unobserved heterogeneity from time plus unobserved heterogeneity from cross-section plus epsilon it. Now the accountability of the unobserved heterogeneity from the cross-section has been already discussed in my previous lecture. Kindly refer to my playlist. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to capture unobserved heterogeneity from time. So y i t is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x i t plus mu t plus omega i plus epsilon i t. So these are the error terms for time element and these are the error terms which are there from the cross section. This error term, the address of the, this error terms can be addressed with the help of dummy variables. Mu t is an unobserved time dependent error terms, factor affecting y that vary with time but not across the firms. Example improvement in conditions, so that is mu t. Omega is unobserved firm dependent error term, 
factors that vary with firm but are time independent. Example, location, corporate culture, dividend policy, capital structure policy, board diversity. So yit is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 xit plus mu t plus omega i plus epsilon i t. So mu t is fixed cro over cross section but varies with time. Omega is fixed over time but varies with cross section. Now let us see how we can do this in eViews. I have already discussed about this data set. This data set is taken from the book Damodar Gujarati Basic Econometrics. Now let me consider year y x2 x3 open as group. You can see here the time element which is from 1935 to 1954. Now I want to include its effect in our regression model. So what can I do? I will go in quick estimate the equation and I will write down y c x2 x3. Now there is a very simple procedure to make the dummies of the time. I will write down expand at the rate year comma. I will use drop first. It means that 1935 will be dropped. I want to create one less dummies. 20 years are there. I will drop the first one. So drop first and I will press OK and I got the results. Now I will copy this results in the word file. Control A, copy. OK. Now you can see here, wherever the p-value is less than 0 0.05, that year is significant. To the matter of surprise, we can see here that neither of the neither of the year is having p-value less than 0 0.05, and we can say that time effects are not present. Right? You can see here the time effects are not present. I'll just circle the things which you have to see. You'll have to see this p-value of this particular years. So neither of the year is having p-value less than 0 0.05 and therefore the time effects are not significant. Now you see the coefficient of x2 and x3. It is 0.115 and 0 0.269. There is still another matter to include the time effects uh, the time effect in the fixed effects models. I'll again go back. I can minimize the screen and I'll run the regression in another way. I'll close this. Quick estimate equation. Now I will not introduce dummy here. Y, C, X2, X3. Go in panel options and in period activate the fixed effects and run OK. Now again you can copy these results. Copy. Okay. And you can compare the X2 and X3. So X2 is 0 0.115 and X3 is 0 0.269. 0 0.115 and 0.269. So you can run the effect of time in fixed effects model in two ways. One with the dummy variable and second with the panel options. Now the question will arise, which model is better? So here, T20, that is 20 time period, is greater than N4, number of cross-section unit. So according to the guideline, cross-section effects should be used, but we will use squads criterion to take the final decision. We will use squads criterion. So in case of normal OLS, squads criterion value is 12.88. In case of fixed effect cross section it is 11.73 and in case of fixed effect period it is 13.86. So from where I will get this figure? I will get this figure from here, squads criterion, this one. So we have run three models, one pulled OLS, second the cross section effect, kindly refer my previous video in which how to run cross section effect, how to run pulled OLS, I have already discussed and this is the time effect, this is the time effect. So the guideline is 
smaller the better so squats criterion uh, so for squats criterion smaller is a better and fixed effects with cross section is best according to the guideline and according to the guideline so you just find out where we are having less squats criterion so it is 11.73 and therefore fixed effects are much better in comparison to fixed effects cross sections are much better in compari comparison to the time period so for more videos on panel data analysis using EVUs, kindly refer to my channel please subscribe to my channel please refer my playlist in which i have already uploaded many videos which are related to panel data analysis using EVUs. thank you